Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I go by the name of Tasha, but the streets will tell you that my name is Udogotela Wendlebe. And on today's video, I will be doing a get to know me tag. And I am doing things differently, and you guys will see what I mean by doing things differently. And before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for getting me to 700 subscribers. I didn't, I didn't expect for my channel to grow this much in such a short space of time. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And if you haven't watched my previous vlog, then what are you doing on this video? What are you doing on this video? As I previously stated that this is a different type of get to know me so what i mean by different is i didn't do the whole thing where you ask people on instagram to type out their questions i decided to do a get to know me using one of my favorite pair of shoes which are my crocs they are a bit dirty i know please forgive me so you guys will get to know me using my using the stickers on these crocs and I'll start with this one shoe. Some of the stickers are missing because the ones that I wanted, I couldn't get. But yeah, I will fill you guys through as the video goes on. So the first one, this dog here, is a character. Um, the name of this character is Chase. It's a character from the cartoon called Paw Patrol. And anyone that knows me knows that I have a love for dogs, guys. I really love dogs with all my heart. Like... Even my friends, like, even if I see a dog on the street, I will literally, like, pet it and play with it. Even on campus, when I see a dog, I will literally go, no, You know, so, yeah, I really love dogs. And fun fact is that when I was growing up, I used to be scared of dogs. Up until in primary school, um, we bought our first dog at home. And I was like, no, man, dogs are actually cool. Dogs are actually your best friend. That's how I got to love dogs. Up next we have the DR which stands for doctor um, so one of my biggest and long-term goals currently is to get a PhD by the time I at least turn 30 or 35 so why do I want a PhD guys honestly I really just like things I like things and also you know when you walk into rooms or like spaces and people introduce you and they're like she has a PhD in this she has a doctorate in audiology it just there's that sense of respect that people give you so yeah i'm really just doing it for those reasons and because i like my degree so i really just want to carry on studying so the reason why i put this doctor here on my crocs is because i really believe in speaking things into existence and just manifesting things I, for me it really works every time i talk about something or say that i want to be something or i'm gonna do something it really does happen so every time i see this it motivates me to work even harder so that i can be able to get into post-grad so yeah that's one of my biggest goals and up next we have this aud and this is the shortened version of audiology i mean audiology is such a long word so i just decided to put aud and for those that don't know, I am a third year audiology student at the University of Cape Town, best university in Africa or whatever, child. But yes, I am a third year student. I study audiology and I will just get into what we do as audiologists. So audiologists are trained in the field of hearing and balance. So we are hearing and balance specialists. So when it relates to hearing, we do things like um, we have a battery of hearing tests and we also fit people with amplification devices such as cochlear implants, hearing aids, other ear molds and any other ear protective gear. And then we also um, work with balance related disorders such as benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. We do treat that if you're feeling dizzy, then you can see an audiologist. And also we deal with tinnitus and tinnitus is basically when you have a ringing sensation in your ear. Um, we do provide tinnitus therapy in our clinics. This is just like a brief overview of audiology. Obviously it does go deeper than that and that I will explain in a separate video um, where I'll be talking about requirements to get into audiology, some things you should expect before going into audiology, the demand, competition and 
anything that relates to audiology then i will address it in a separate video so another frequently asked question that i always get is why i chose audiology over any other degree and the reason why i chose audiology was because back in high school i was so good at life sciences um, more especially when we were doing the nervous system which was when we were studying the eye and the ear so i started to google um different career fields that i could go into that related to the eye or the ear and audiology came at the top of the career fields and when i read up on it honestly i was so interested and i started looking for universities in south africa that provided audiology and also uct came at the top hence i chose uct audiology and just a few facts about me my favorite color is brown i'm sure you guys have seen from my closet i usually wear brown clothes you guys can also see from my hair um my favorite dish is seafood pasta i also love music mainly because i find therapy in music when i'm studying i have to listen to music i can't focus without music cooking bathing when i'm sleeping i listen to music so yeah i really love music so you guys might be wondering who my favorite artists are so i have a top five and coming in at number one is definitely summer walker the way i listen to her i listen to her religiously I listen to her in an unhealthy manner and honestly i think all summer walker's dreams definitely come from me i think she's getting the bag because of me like i stream her music literally every day coming in at number two is janae aiko i really listen to her music when i'm feeling down i really find therapy in her music number three is definitely scissor her latest album she ate that and then at number four is definitely frank ocean his music just speaks his music speaks and honestly he owes us an album and at number five this one is a tough one it's a tough one but at number five i have to put jasmine sullivan and because her vocals are just too good like her vocals are amazing so we've come to the end of this get to know me tag i hope that this video did help you guys at least get to know a bit of who i am and please do like comment and subscribe and please do check out my next vlog that will be dropping this coming week.